which apparently is the, so like yeah, the yeah. spirit of like what are we it's like going to be really high up the rows and the four high rows high rows. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and if I'm not mistaken, that mask mm -hmm. is has the soul of the person who like destroyed Majora and <laughs> made the Majora bad. mask, from my understanding. The the um the fierce it's deity the mask shirt. is uh the last mask that you get and it's the hardest mask to get to. Yeah. In fact I didn't get the mask on my own uh, my, my, my buddy from school at the time twenty years ago. He gave me uh, he, 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 he showed he showed me how to get the mask and then apparently the way to get it is you need every single mask and then you have to go and then yeah. Him. Well, the hardest mask that I got was uh, not the bunny mask, but there was another mask. I can't remember. Uh, the dance king mask. Mm. There was one that you had to you had to be at, you had to arrive at a specific time. Oh, I know. It's in the clock, in, in the clock, uh, the clock town. Uh, the mail, the, the mail, the mail, the postman's hat. Made, that was a like, fucking hard mask. That one was hard to get. Yeah. Oh, another mean, like, tricky one you to get was. Um, was um, one of the wedding acts, where you have to oh, like stalk yeah. the dude, and then you have to like, the, yeah. like the girl and the shit. I remember that. Like, oh, that was, yeah. Because I think that was, yeah, if I remember, it was eons ago. I got the postman's oh, hat first, hilarious. then I was able to get the dragon. fierce deity, but I don't know where the fierce like where you actually go to get well, it. Well, like, from who, what who I you understand, see? is you go to Majora, and Majora talks to you, play hide and seek and hunt him down. But you mean that you, you mean that that kid that's under the tree when you when you, when, you, when, you get, when you get to the moon? Okay. Apparently, you give him all of the masks you've collected. Oh. But like, then you have to do some other weird shit to get them. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. But my brother, he had the one enforcers, and the other guys were the super bad boys Who's from. Who's the red shirt for Superman? McLovin. Uh, McLovin. The, the oh, the red, the red T-shirt. Yeah. That's Scott Pilgrim, oh, AKA, oh, AKA oh, Michael Sarah, who plays <laughs> Seth. No. No. No, he plays. Uh, who does he play? Uh, Evan. 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 He plays Evan. It's Ev Seth is Jonah Hill. Which, by the way, Seth I'm not gonna Seth make Jonah Hill. Seth is Seth. Okay. I know, but Seth is Jonah Hill and Evan is, <laughs> is Michael Cera. Okay. And it was supposed to be Bill Hader and. It collapses in Hitler, so you could just do a. On the nose, the too, on the nose. I had no idea that it was like based off of like, I thought it was Seth Rogen's and Evan's <laughs> story. If you watch the behind the scenes of it, which I did, technically, yeah, it was supposed to be made in 2002 when they were still in high, uh, no, not high school. They were in college. And it was supposed to be Bill Hader and Seth Rogen, but uh, they got too old, uh -huh. and the kids got older, so you had 17-year-old Michael Sarah and 17-year-old... Sorry? Who was the oldest at the time of Was it Jonah Hill or... Uh, uh, Michael Sarah? Oh, I don't know. I think, I think it was Emily Scott. They were all they were all the, they were all the same age. They, they were all they were all born in they were all born in 1990, so they couldn't be they couldn't, have, they couldn't have been in the movie in 2002. They'd be 12 years old. That wouldn't work. But I think uh, that wasn't wasn't, uh, was it Christopher? Was it Christopher? I don't have gas. Christopher Mintz Plassey? Wasn't he like Christopher Mintz Plassey? It's, it's Mick Lovin, the guy on the on the on the left hand of your screen. The man with the tan vest. The sexy hamburger Mick Lovin. Oh. <laughs> I actually recently added stuff over this. By the way, way Trace, top yourself to that chair and get your feet get tired. I've been on my feet all day and and, and they 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 hurt like a bitch. <laughs> When I went out today to investigate to see if there was a switch at Walmart, I left my bike parked behind um, Loblaws. I was gone for like an hour and my bike was still there. Go fig. If I had a bag, I bet you if I had a bag with me, they would have probably taken the bag and left the bike. Right. Oh. Okay, so. 
My team right now to win is the Lethal Enforcers. But if the super bad boys win, I gotta chug the entire uh, Kanye Cabana. But I will be okay to drive later on because this is my one and only drink. Okay. And this is elimination. Just, 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 just to give you a oh! So in the ring right now, ladies and gentlemen, is the Southern Dandy and Scott Pilgrim. And now we have Nick, uh, Nick Doom. And the hand about to go at it. Hopefully Jesse Bowen does not get a folding chair in this match and destroy or cripple all three members of the legendary Lethal Enforcers. We'll give you all a status update as to the condition of Tom Sever, Twiggy, and... Oh yeah, of course Dean Ambrose is back to full health. Um, Twiggy is still out of commission, and he might be out of commission until this fall. <clears throat> but Tom Sever is due to come back, so we'll ho hopefully, hopefully see him see him in action next month. Scott Towles. Can't wait for that. He just took he no sell the European overcut <laughs> to the face. Notice how when they punch these guys, they don't react. They just. They just remain deadpan, like they don't even feel anything. He gave the same expression as realizing somebody got rid of his bookmark from his book. <laughs> <laughs> Who gave these people painkillers? Because they don't seem to feel anything at all. Not just Botox injections. And he's actually crying on the inside. They're young athletes, they don't even need Botox. Maybe McDoom does, he's like 50 years old. He's been wrestling for 20 years. Just to see that. Yeah, and he does nothing. <laughs> oh, there you there go. There you go. Now, now he def definitely felt something. That rib had a little meat on it. Scott Pilgrim wants to grab somebody. He needs glasses. Maybe he should borrow Mc 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 Lovins' gla glasses. <laughs> he has glasses. Oh, there you go. I just realized that throughout the entire movie, McLovin didn't even have glasses. Um, Remember when you got punched by the by the liquor store? Um, to be honest, I haven't watched all of Scott Pilgrim. Or um, uh, Super Bad. Oh yeah. This movie here, man. Oh yeah, when he gets launched in the air. When he gets lifted in the air. I have it on my. Um... That's supposed to be a Viva, the character I created in the game, but she's gonna be gone. <laughs> She'll be gone in the, in the next month. It's not as popular as I, I would hope so. Who sprung in the air like that? The Southern Dandy just did a spray, a line of salt cross body and landed on McLovin. Stiff elbow shot into the glasses of, Mc, of, of, of McLovin. He still has them on and they're not broken. How is that possible, Scott? I have no possible clue. I don't know him. I have a man in him, yeah. That could be that could that that could be the reason why they're still on his head. Look at that. Punch and punch, a drop kick, and those glasses are still on his face. Supposed to be perfect. I guess so. To the turnbuckle. And here comes Pantalex. Double team drop tool and a still a stiff elbow drop to the neck. Remember this, fans. This is a you know an, an elimination match, kind of like a Survivor Series. And a little fun fact and trivia: the very first Survivor Series matchup was actually a three-on-three -three, uh, tag tag team match before it became four four-on-four four, or five-on-five five, or even ten-on-ten. Ten. Oh. And now Pantalex seizing the moment here. Uh -oh. The Shining Wizard! A page out of the book of the Great Muda. Yeah. Off the ropes. Against the ropes. Taking his back like soda pops. Hmm? 
change here. Okay, that was a cool punch. And Pent <clears throat> Pentalix wants to get in this. You can see. Another diving punch. Beautiful oh. standing drop kick. <coughs> damn, damn Doritos. <clears throat> Maybe this oh. abandon will take care of this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> a head rocking kick. Leads to oh! Count. Hey, the sexy hamburger has been eliminated. All while Mid Doom also knocked the hand to his face first on the rail, and here we have a wicked arm toss. Beautiful Japanese-like arm drag, and Jesse Bodoway is not happy. Another European arm, uh, uppercut no sell. Have to uh -oh. the floor. Uh -oh. oh no! Torture rack. This uh, is one of the hand signature mover numbers. He's conquered others with this. Oh he's wow! To live longer. The dandy has survived the torture act. A page out of the book of the total package. It is now three on two in favor of the lethal enforcers. It's just Bodoin and Pilgrim left. Can these two lives? <laughs> What is this, what is the matter with Scott, man? His medication is starting to wear off. Oh, finally you want now he's gonna get to grab somebody. And mocking Southern Dandy with a slap, adding insult to injury. What is next on the agenda? Hey, that was a pretty cool head but, um, He uses his entire weight. Just to, just to strike his skull. So the Danny is getting a little dirtier, but not without that clean Hurricane Rana. Oh! Oh, wait, wait a minute! He was made to bleed. I think, he's not uh, down and out. I think that uh, the hand has a comeback opportunity. If he gets wasted, he will have to start all the way to the beginning again, which means we will not see a signature maneuver Camel for him in a while. Camo clutch! No. I don't know if Pilgrim saved the day or not. I couldn't see because Nick Doom took up like almost a good majority of that screen. He's blocked it with his with his, with his oh, burly frame. His wide and burly frame. But uh, Southern Danny has been almost taking the entire show here. He's he's stealing the show. Oh, wait a minute, I think he just heard me. And now I think he's gonna tag. Or maybe not. 
Oh, oh he <laughs> now he took the hand. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Torture oh, no, rack. rack. Save your buddies, guys. Well, he lives to fight some more. What was that? All these chops, man. It's just like an orchestra. Oh, the face jam! And another snapping hurricane runner from Pentalix. What is Danny trying to do? He's trying to mop the floor with him. But he's dealing with the with, with, with Scott Pilgrim. Let it, let him go. Oh, nice! Using his momentum as Here it comes. to do a takedown and a oh. beautiful frog splash. Oh, oh, oh. Like an like Eddie Guerrero, and now Jesse Bodoway's had enough of this. He's gonna execute a third torture rack. Okay, this has to be it. There's no way around it. This is not looking good. Oh, he's not giving up. Seventeen minutes remaining on the clock, ladies and gentlemen, and the dandy does not want to give up. Oh, oh. that's cold. Just like this glass I'm having right now, cold. <laughs> Good. Just, just tag yourself out, man. Save yourself. Oh. What, are you, what are you doing, Dandy? Oh, now McDoom is in shit. Oh, man. So the Southern Dandy's trying to be a hero. This is counterintuitive. It is. Now McDoom. Uh-oh. What's this? Uh -oh. oh, nice. Even though that was a bit of a fail, that kind of hurt oh, no. Alex's knees. The dandy in dire straits here. Can anybody help him out? Southern Dandy is fighting a damn good fight here. All these submission holds, and yet he has not tapped out. It is still three on two, fans. Wow. I might even finish this glass before the match is over. Oh no. Oh, another headbutt. Now here comes Nick Doom. Fresh off the grill. Do a little dancing here. Another European uppercut to a man who's from Europe. Ooh, knee to the gut. It's very interesting how we're seeing all sorts of interesting wrestling maneuvers. When you think about it, these guys are all about brawling. Why do why uh, do technical maneuvers at a time like this? Going back to the old roots, I guess. And here's a great classic arm bar, a Fujiara arm bar. We're almost halfway through, ladies and gentlemen. 15 minutes left on the clock. And I have no idea who's been tagged in. I, I, I lost complete track. I thought it was Nick Doom who was in the ring. We so. have now Pantalix and the hand going after each other. He's gonna smash this hand. He won't have a hand left. Only a one count from that simple maneuver. Someone in the front row holding a sign that says My Hero and WW, uh, WCW Prestige. Make, make it a win. And here is a, a power bomb? No, not, not exactly. What is this? Oh, you, uh, oh man! <laughs> Look at the neck and the back what a of fortune. Jesse Bodo and he kicks out! What a fortune cookie maneuver. The fortune cookie bomb. Fortune cookie The fortune cookie bridge. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the it's the cookie bridge from Mario World. Off the ropes! Against the ropes! <laughs> Another ultimate warrior splash! In the middle of the ring! No! Bodoway kicks out before the count of two. I make Doom thinking that he forgot something at home. What is next? Off the ropes! And that is a clean hurricane runner hooks the leg! Not Damn! Even Not even two! Oh, wait a minute, double team, double team. Those punches didn't even like connect to the body. I think he was trying to hurt his feelings. Feel hurt feelings has happened. Aw. Oh. We need to see some big maneuvers here. 
We're going to make any headway in these final 13 minutes. Oh, oh wait a minute, oh. wait a minute. Speaking of which, Scott Towels looks as though we have a submission <laughs> role and Pilgrim. I didn't even see him for a while. Where the hell was he? He tripped over his bad decisions. Or the seven ex-boyfriends. Oh no, McDoom was trying to go for a diving leg drop and hit nothing but an empty pool. No water in there. Now Wait. Scott Pilgrim gets a little sunshine. Yeah, finally we're seeing Scott Pilgrim. I haven't seen him wrestle the entire match. And what happened to Jesse? Oh, McDoom did that. McDoom on the outside, you don't see him. He's there in the bottom left-hand side of your screen. And now all partners are back to their neutral position. Maze. Okay, okay. Here it comes. Is this what I think it is? Oh! First blood, the screen, the screen, the screen went red. Matching the color of Pilgrim's shirt. Screen went red. Super Rock and Run Up! Uh, Wait a minute! Run up. Code Red! Just like the shirt! And there's a three! Pilgrim is out! The bloody Pilgrim is out of jar! Now it is, it's now one on three! It's now only the super bad boy! Yes! This is the lethal enforcers! All single, three! It's single versus plural here! The guy who has broken legs! has potentially ended the career of Twiggy maybe in dire straits. This could be his last match. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what? He gave him a European uppercut to the air. To the, to the air? <laughs> Another European... What's the, what's the deal with him and those European oh. uppercuts? Oh, wow! McDoom willing to put down the hand. Just give up. Bodwang, give up. It was your birthday. Happy birthday, by the way, Jesse Bodwang. <laughs> Happy birthday. Go home. Go home. The My referee goodness. calls for the bell with 10 minutes and 51 seconds remaining on the clock. It's a clean sweep for the enforcers, Scott Towels. I couldn't have expected that the hand was going to go down by a submission move before getting somebody out, Maybe but he did. Maybe he did punch him. I guess I was off by a little bit, but... Look at this, the brain buster that busted up Pilgrim's his head. And this is the end right here. Huh. This is the Code Red. Wasn't it also called like the Dragon Honor or something? That's from the top turning back over. <coughs> what is it there? The Super King? The Super Eric Honor? The Super Hurricane Rana is a Frankenstein movie. Damn it, what is it called then? The Dragon Rana is when you go to the top rope, you do a front flip, then a Hurricane Rana, so it's kind of like what you saw, but that was a bit like a sunset flip, but they call it a code red. I know, man, I know that it's, I've, been, I've been following this for a long time. Lethal Enforcers win in a clean sweep, all thanks to... I think it was McDoom who got the, uh, the the final the final win. He was the one to put the clutch on the hand, and now the hand needs a brace. Yes. Take no Jesse Bodoing. Do not injure any more superstars on the No Mercy brand. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Standing by with our senior correspondent Rick Rocker is the champ Joe Bruiser and his thoughts in the main event tonight for the Championship of the Universe.